I'm Shannon if you're new here and for those of you who are returning thank you so so much um, it's Saturday morning I'm about to have my morning coffee and then I'm going to do my gratitude exercise and kind of map out what I have going on for today um, today's gonna be a long day because I want to well I'm planning um, Galentine's Day event um, for there's a few of my girlfriends so they'll be coming over this evening so i have to do the full setup and everything i also need to go on the road to run like a few errands i need to go to the supermarket for sure to get like groceries in terms of what i want to cook for later like ingredients um i also think i'm going to be going to new greenhouse because i got these roses from them yesterday and i'm just not happy about the quality of the roses so i called them yesterday and they're like oh yeah you can return it but i'm in between two minds if i'm gonna return them or just keep them i also want to go to azan because i need to get a cupcake um baking pan because the one that i have i just don't like how it looks so i think i'm gonna try to get that at azan um so maybe like after I go to Azan, then I'm, when I'm leaving Azan, I can stop at New Greenhouse because everything is, like, that's like crossroad area. Um, yeah, so and then we're going to do the Galentine's Day, which I'm excited about. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be up to today. And of course, you know, like straighten up the house and get everything ready. And, you know, we have a little cooking going on. Um also what else oh yes i have a haul guys i redid well spruce up let me say spruce up i started the spruce up process of the living room and it's looking so good like it's coming together so good so i'm gonna show you guys how that's looking and also show you like a few new home decor items that i got when i went um when we were in florida so i'll show you guys that too but yeah and you know the Valentine's day is like the kickoff to like all of the valentine's day celebration and i'm just so excited like i love valentine's day i'm gonna know about nobody else i know a lot of people but all them not believe in valentine's day or whatever but to me it's just like really anyway like for example if somebody come like a guy or whatever talking about how them don't believe in valentine's day so i'm like so you don't believe in mother's day you don't believe in father's day like for me it's literally just a day put aside to celebrate the person that you love like the lover in your life i don't think it's anything serious in terms of believe or not believe if they come with the whole oh it's a commercialized holiday yeah i'm like all of them are commercialized holidays mother's day father's day birthdays like come on <clears throat> so i celebrate valentine's day i love it every year and yeah, so it's a kick off. I did my nails. Look how cute are they? So these are like my Valentine's Day nails. I got inspiration from Kyra. Yeah. Um on YouTube. So I like them. They came out perfect. I'll leave my nail ticks um 
information in the description box because she is so good and just like she has a nice energy and vibe which I absolutely love um, so I'll leave her information in the description box but I can't get over my nails like I can't stop staring at them and like a pure compliment like since I've done them like just like constant compliments they're so cute um, I also did my hair as well it needs to like sorry the bike but you know bikes on the road um, I need to curl it back up but I decided to go to the center part and I was just like so nervous because normally when I do like this length sewing it's always generally like side part like I'm a side part girl so I was just kind of nervous about this whole center part thing but it's okay when I asked doing um what he thought he's like he might forget used to me with a uh, center part I'm like it's either you like the hairstyle or you don't like the hairstyle sir but anyway i like it um i just need to curl it up so you know it falls properly but yeah that's what's but yeah that's what um i'm up to i'm gonna have my coffee in my new mug that i bought from amazon <coughs> which i keep on saying i'm gonna update my amazon storefront and i've just been delinquent because it takes a lot of time <coughs> sorry and i have a lot going on as you guys know i have a lot going on in my life um but yeah i'm gonna update it and add these cups because i really like it like how cute and it comes in a set of two and the other one is like a different design and it's just like really nice and they come with like two gold spoons which is nice too so good coffee life <laughs> anyway let me go do my gratitude and kind of like map out what i need to do for the day but yeah let me show you guys what um i've done so far with the living room in terms of the sprucing up before bailey wakes up because you know once she gets up and turn the place upside down you know how that go already but yeah so one of the things that i did was to hang um that little artwork i've had that for like so long <laughs> from i think yeah i got that during when i was selling home decor products with luxness like those who know know um it's a sea fan but i'm putting it there temporarily i don't think it really goes but yeah for now it, it's all right right because i needed something above the tv that's not silver and we also bought this um yeah we also bought this tv stand this new tv stand from wayfair i got this online and shipped it in yes this big thing it was 80 pounds i think in total i paid um like 37 dollars to ship and clear it like the customs fee and whatever the only thing for me <clears throat> i actually thought it was going to be a lot higher um so i'm trying to see if i can have like a unit made at the bottom with like drawers for like additional storage but we'll see because at first we were just like yeah this too low we don't like it but then once i styled it doing was like yeah i think I, I think i'm starting to like it now but yeah this is what it's looking like let me see if i can pull back a bit but yeah that's what that looks like i put the flowers there we had that i've had that for like a while that orchid thing and some books there then in the couch this cushion you guys would have seen before i bought a pair of two from home goods in florida and then i hung the curtains and it's like a linen vibe it really just elevates the living room i believe and then i raise the curtain rod all the way to the ceiling so that it you know adds like height to the room and i think it really like elevates it and i move the plant the full plant that we had 
Um, I just move it to this corner. Organize, and then this corner is pretty much for Bailey with her toys. And I kind of like organize her toy box a bit, like throw out some toys to that's to me that's garbage. And also, I did a pile for donation. But yeah, that's what I've done so far um, for the living room. I think I'll show you guys more like once the sun is out and it's a lot brighter. Because I don't think like this light is doing it justice. Like it looks so good already. I'm still planning on getting like a light fixture there. Also a new rug as well as a new center table because i want to change that out um it's too big for the space and i'm moving away from the gray the only gray thing that will really be in the space is the couch because i'm telling them and i change my coach because i have a child you know and i'm planning on having more <laughs> so i'm not changing um the coach for now but yeah, that's what we are looking like in the living room and I'm loving it. It just feels so much lighter. I'm gonna quickly show you guys the stuff like the home purchases like home decor stuff that I'd purchased again before Bailey wakes up because yeah so um, I still have the quiet of the morning because Dwayne's sleeping and Bailey's sleeping so I've been up early and yeah I'm just gonna get this out of the way before chaos start so the first thing is um, the cups that i was telling you guys about so this is one of them which i would have shown you that i'm actually currently drinking my coffee out of and then this is the other design and it's so nice like i love them it's just like and this is the gold spoon you know just like level up my coffee drinking experience you know i love a good aesthetic <laughs> So I think these are so cute. I still love my um, Anthropology J mug, but this is like a little more like on the classy luxury side. Um, so I love them and they're really good quality and weighty. I'd actually purchased them for a friend. Um, and I think I told you guys in one of the vlogs and I'm just like, I want them for myself. So that's why I ended up getting them and i got those from amazon i also got like this week when i was leaving court i actually stopped by azan to get a few supplies for my office and i decided to pick up these two champagne um glasses from azan for my home um and we've had them before but Matello no, in other house here, a pure like glass na last long, like every minute them broke. So I had two and you know I needed two more. And also because I'm hosting um the Valentine's Day as well and four person, it will be four of us. So I decided to just pick up two more. And I really like them. I think they're so sexy and you know just like sophisticated, you know, classy drinking my prosecco or champagne you know but yeah so these were i want to say 260 dollars each don't quote me but i don't know as on um glasses and stuff are fairly reasonable if you say them not reasonable y'all lying but yeah i just i really love how like sleek and sexy they are yes. you know a classy girl <laughs> um the other thing that i got these pot sets if you follow me on instagram you would have seen these already because i created a reel and it's gotten lots of engagements because people really loved it 
but it's this beautiful the line beautiful by drew barrymore and i got these from amazon when we went up and look how beautiful they are like it's giving aesthetics it's giving luxury it's giving girl where you go cook your curry like you're gonna stay up the pots but um i'm hoping that they hold up well it's like five five pots came in the um in the set so i have the i'm sorry i didn't take out all of them but this is a frying pan so it's like two frying pans and i don't know the name of the pans to be honest with you but yes i set a five i'm going to link it it was 129 dollars for the entire set persons when i posted the real persons were asking me you know how much it was to bring it in and clear it but i don't know because we actually brought it down in our suitcase so i can tell you guys um how much that would be <coughs> if you were supposed to ship it directly to jamaica but i do know that walmart does ship directly to jamaica so if you really want them and yeah I think they're really nice they're an excellent dupe for the caraway pot set if you know the caraway pot set is very popular on youtube so if you watch like youtube lifestyle videos like the popular girls like all of them have it um but yeah this is what it looks like and also someone was saying in my comments that she has read reviews that in terms of the quality it's basically on par with the caraway for a fraction of the cost because i think the car says is like 300 and like 50 something dollars and this was 129 so it's a deal i like it i like it it's very beautiful um also i got stuff from target when i went when we were in florida and the first thing is this vase and it's so nice and it's gonna go with my whole cream neutral aesthetic that I have going on and I really really like it the only bad part is that it chipped in the suitcase look so I have to just try to find something to kind of like something white and probably like cover it and then place it in a way where it's not showing but it's really heavy and I like it we brought it down in the hand luggage and it's still cheap but anyway yeah and how much did i pay for this this was 30 30 dollars from target also the other items from target we got this um what is it called teak teak object i think it's wood and i'm gonna put this on top of the tv stand well i don't know because i may use it to style the entry table but we'll see how i play around with it but this can go lower because it is wood meaning it is child safe because from a put it out every minute the one bailey she i take it up and i'm just glad it's not breakable so you know that's good um but yeah it's just a cute like decorative object um and it was 25 25 dollars from target the other thing i got is this marble and metal object as well decorative object what is what did they call this um yeah it's from the brand studio mcgee and this was 15 dollars which is not a bad price because it it feels weighty and it looks good for $50 this is nice and yeah I'm gonna use this to decorate maybe the I don't know where I'm putting them yet as I say I'm just picking up the little pieces so that you know when we start spruce up yeah <laughs> um, the other thing the last thing I got from Target is this um, threshold candle and it's in cypress and juniper and it's a three week and studio mcgee as well that's a brand let's see if it yeah yeah this is from studio mcgee as well <coughs> and let me tell you it's not only that it goes with the decor the whole neutral thing it smells so 
good like I can't wait for burning it to like it smells like I keep smelling it because it it's it have like a Christmassy scent in terms of you know how the pine from like real Christmas tree smell it has that but also like a fresh a freshness to it it just smells like home I don't know if I explain it just yeah it smells like home it's not too sweet it's just like really nice <clears throat> the other item I got this was from TJ Maxx and it's this body um, this tiny body vase <laughs> um, these like this type of shaped objects are vase whatever has been trending in home decor and I really I love it especially the fact that she shaped like me a joke <laughs> joke it's a joke but yeah it looks it's really cute really nice um i think this though i may put in the in my bedroom like beside my bed my bedside table when i do decide to like redo my bedroom or i just may incorporate it in the living room but i really like it and it was for seven seven ninety nine so that's really cheap but yeah this is the little vase that i got and it's cute yeah the other things are um i'm gonna try to point so you guys can see behind me i got that curtain rod like the gold curtain rods i got it for both the living room and the dining area and i got the rod from amazon i'm going to link it as well but the rod is so nice the quality is weighty because when i felt the curtains the curtains are heavy especially the ones that i bought from home goods they're heavy so they needed a strong rod and I, and i also needed something that was really wide so i think the rod goes up to like 120 um so i'm gonna link it it's really good and it's gold it goes with the decor also the curtain these curtains i got from amazon and I'm gonna link that as well I really like them they're like linen like a linen vibe which is good I think it's a little see-through so if you want a black oak curtain that's not it but it's okay for me because we you guys know I have the blinds there so it's not like I'm trying to block out anything it's really just for decor purposes <clears throat> you guys can probably also see in the background this mirror I got this new mirror which i absolutely am obsessed with and i got that from amazon and i also shipped it to jamaica through my shipping company and it held up beautifully because they packaged it really really nice where it just would not break um so that's good and how much did i pay to clear it i don't remember i think it weighed 15 pounds and in total i want to say to ship and clear i paid my shipping company i think maybe like thirteen thousand. yeah i want to say i I'm probably less i don't remember honestly and i don't even have my thing to check right now but i think it was it's totally worth it i do mirror is like heavy and nice and just like it looks good it's, it, it 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 has elevated the space like i don't know if you guys can see but i think the background looks good like different and you know so we're coming along i need again another lighting fixture for the dining room as well um but yeah we're coming along we need to start finish styling the entry table as well but for the most part yeah i'm liking how things are going so far with the little spruce up um again i'm gonna try to link the items of course i can't link the glass um the champagne glasses that i got from azan because you know that's a local buy type of situation but for everything else i'm gonna try and link those no time for me to get ready little miss johnson is awake so i am going to just get her ready and then just put her aside and then get myself ready let's go in <laughs> bailey hi mama <coughs> hi 
Hi, my lovey. Hey, Miss Bailey, Miss Lovey Dovey. Hi. Bailey? <clears throat> Hi, Bailey. Good morning. Good morning. You know, Bailey went to bed, as in the little girl took off her pull ups because now we've transitioned to panties and pull ups. So she sleep in her pull ups. And when I went in a while ago to wake her up, I see the pull ups on the ground, but I never really a penny because when I looked at her, it appeared that the onesie was still latched. And it's not like the pull ups is pulled apart, it's just um, still like in the full like diaper form. So to me, it never occurred to me that she actually took it off. But then when I realized that she did not want any diaper, done, done. that's done. Okay, good girl. She had on no diaper and she was wet. And the bed wet. But it's a good thing that I had the liner, um, the dry night liners on the crib because she's been doing this thing. It's taking off her diaper thing. So I make sure that I line the crib with the dry night liner so it does the pee don't seep through and wet the mattress. But we just don't understand how she was able to achieve that, like take off the pull-ups without unsnapping the the snaps on the onesie and the what do you call that? You know the yeah, the onesie. I still can't figure it out. But um, that's what I'm dealing with now. So I'm just going to show her and get her ready. Get that water. Yes, that's water, baby. Water. And um, I'm going to steal my a little bit puzzled about that. I'm going to brush your teeth. Come. Brush this. Come, you like this cheese? Tickle, tickle. Tickle, red. No, brush. Go like this cheese. Cheese. You wanna help? Hey. Show, show them how you brush your teeth. Hey. Show them how you brush your teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth. Every single day. I use this on Bailey's skin now. I'm not sure if I showed you guys before, but I really, really like it. It smells so good and it's really moisturizing. So. I just moisturize her and um, let me show you the dress that I'm gonna put her in so she's gonna be wearing this dress really cute it has some gold um, details on it um, but it's really cute but the thing is this is from Oshkosh but it's 3T I can't believe some of my baby I wear 3T She's two and a half, but I mean, no, it's mine. I didn't think that um, 3T stuff would start fitting her as yet, but yes, she's getting big, big girl I wear 3T, and she's at the stage now where she wants to tell you what she's wearing and, or what she wants to wear, and it's pure pretty dress and um, frilly skirts, that's what this is a girl is into and she when she ready she just kick up first so when i took out this dress a while ago i asked her i'm like you want to wear that this dress and she's like yes mommy because she's at the age where she's dictating to me what she wants to wear all right guys so i'm dressed and ready to go so let me just show you my errands fit for today so i'm wearing this bodysuit from forever 21 that i recently bought in florida and i really love it you guys know i love a like a half shoulder situation and i love body suits and i thought this kind of like detail cut out detail here really interesting and the material is really thick and weighty so it's good quality um the only thing i got it in a size large and i should have gotten it in a size medium because i feel like here is a little bit too big I got another I got it in another color a green like a lime green and that one I got in a size medium and that fits perfect so I should have gotten this in a size medium as well but anyway 
and these jeans just regular jeans high waist jeans and these are from express and my coach belt which was a part you guys would have seen it during christmas one of the christmas vlogs because Dwayne gave me this as a part of my christmas gift um and i'm wearing these sandals from zara which i've had for a really long time and the scent of the day i'm doing scent of the day now because you know that's what the girlies like is this sorry birch sublime rose which is really nice um so this is the scent of the day love it and my gloss this is from signature styles on instagram my friend cj and her gloss is like so nice so i'm wearing this gloss today i'm trying to wear more gloss to moisturize my lips more because i realize i rarely moisturize my lips and my lips always look so dry in the vlogs um and then for my bag i'm just wearing my yellow tour birch bag and i'm putting this strap out today you guys sit up baggy already i'm not gonna type this it is i don't know so this is like one of my favorite handbags and i love the cross body especially when i have bailey with me to run errands because i have to carry her so the cross body is like perfect for moms i think because then you know you have your diaper bag too and you can just put it here although i leave my diaper bag in the car because you know you're not going too far you're going to the store so if you need to change diaper bag is in the car but at least i can have the diaper bag on the shoulder cross body like this and then have her if i need to carry her so yeah mom hack cross body bags but yeah so let's head out hello the princess baby baby say hi she wants to watch mommy phone but girl you don't get my phone my phone is a vlogging camera today <laughs> Like change of plans we went as an first um, because I realized that I was gonna pass as an before going for us. But Bailey's getting a little sleepy, so I'm not sure how long we'll be on the road. Bailey, can you say hi? A sleepy face. But morning, <laughs> darling. You know, she have to tell everybody hi. Everybody she passed, she have to tell hi. Got this one in turn. All right. Um, I'm seeing some of the things for cupcakes. Um, not sure what um, which one to choose as yet, but they have a lot of options. As you can see, <laughs> a lot, a lot of different options. A while ago, I had to just like quickly change plans because Bailey was acting up in Azan. They have Valentine's Day cupcakes but I think I'm gonna make my own. <laughs> but look at this one who wants to sleep so badly. Looking if they have strawberries here. Nope. Only raspberry. The grace black you want to hold this for mommy thank you put it in, put it in the cart <laughs> um and corn i need corn let's get these mm. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, I'm like you do That's why I'm not in my life with you I wanna please you in any way I can I wanna share my world, don't you understand?
guys i haven't even started the bulk of what i need to do and i am tired already i'm not even start set up nor nothing so far my season the chicken the salmon is also seasoned and the cupcakes are in the oven so that's all i've done so far but i wanted to show you guys some of the things that i picked up for the valentine's day and also i'm planning on doing like a valentine's day treat bag for bailey because you know i love her she's like she's my valentine she's one of my valentines so i'm going to make her a treat bag so i'll show you some of the things that i'm going to be putting in that um you guys don't know already like from bailey's birthday when i'm doing a themed event and must say me do a themed party i'm gonna go all out um well not all all out but i like for it to be cute and so on that's just who i am my extra it's not gonna change so i'm going to show you guys some of the things that i got i got stuff from the dollar tree and that was like really good because the prices were good like I, I got so much stuff and i think when the when the lady told me like the bill was 26 dollars i'm like for all this i'm like wow okay awesome um but yeah let me show you guys some other things so i picked up some of these balloons i think i got like six of them although i don't know where the others are but i'm going to incorporate these in maybe a garland i'm going to try to do a garland i think i have some extra balloons left from bailey's birthday party if i didn't put them in storage i need to go and find those so i might do like a pink thing and then use these as like the accent balloons and it says happy valentine's day and the theme in terms of the color it's not like specifically pink or red i'm doing both pink and red and just have everything you know in one i also got some macaroons and these are so cute and i got two colors and let me see the flavors this is almond oh they're both almond okay but one with um champagne flavor cream filling and the other with strawberry flavored cream filling so this well these will be going on the board that i'm going to be doing um i got these heart plates from target i believe but i'm not sure if i'm going to use them i may yeah i may use them yeah so i got these heart plates um what else I got this Galentine's Day chocolate set. It says Galentine's Day. I think this is so cute. Definitely on themed. Hopefully the chocolate tastes good. It's from House of Dorchester. It's um, British chocolate. What else I got? Um, I got some cookies. And this one says XOXO. This is just a heart and heart. My thing is, I just hope them cookies here in a stale since I bought them like uh, two weeks ago. And this one has XOXO. Okay, so I got the cookies. Um, I got these love napkins as well. I got these table, they call them scatters. To decorate the table so this is cute i got this from the dollar tree so i got two bags of those uh i forgot that i got these i got some headbands for the girls i know i have to save one for bailey because she's she yeah i think i'm gonna put one in bailey's um box but this is cute because bailey love headband and like cute things like this <laughs> so that's nice um what else oh i got some ring pops some heart shaped ring pops which i actually ate one of these already it's just regular ring pop it's just heart shaped so i got a bunch of those um 
I got Hershey's Kisses. And oh, I found another cookie. Yeah, I got Hershey's Kisses. And they're pink, so you know, I'm themed. Um, another heart candy. I also got a bunch of um, blow pops, but I I don't know why I picked this up to be honest with you, cause it don't it's not a part of the decor or anything. I just like, picked it up. I also got some pink and red heart mini heart sprinkles, and these I will be putting on the cupcakes. What else? I got this stuffed toy. That says XOXO and this will be going in Bailey's treat bag. I'm just going to put the candy in Bailey's treat bag. Not that she's going to be eating all of that candy, but you know. <clears throat> I This is a card. I actually bought a card today when I went to Azan you know, for doing. I didn't even remember that I bought a um, Valentine's Day card for him when I was abroad. You know, I'm always like forward thinking like that. And for Bailey's bag, I picked up two books, and this is so cute. Pepper's Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna put that in her bag. And this one, um, Smooch, and it's a celebration of enduring power of love. And you know, my little girl loves books, so she's gonna really like this, I am sure. It's a cute little, you know, love book. So those are going in her box. Also, I got this um, cookie kit, decorating kit for her and I to do together. So it comes with the cookies, the filling and sprinkles and stuff. So this is like a mommy and me type of activity that we will both be doing. So I don't know if I'll just leave this out of the box or put it in the box. I'm not sure yet then um i got some gift bags these are for my friends and i bought this bag from fontana to use for bailey's treat bag because i wanted a bag that was big enough to hold this in so that's what i got and yeah that's pretty much all the valentine's day fandangles that I need to go and find the balloons now for real so I can just like start blow those up. Bailey's still sleeping. So I'm gonna blow them up and put them in my closet while she is up because I'm sure she's going to want to like mess with the balloons and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go check on the cake for make sure say they're not burning. <laughs> so let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go look. Ooh, <laughs> looking good, looking good. I think they may be ready. I'm gonna test them with um, a pick. Let's see. Yeah, the cupcakes are done. Let me see if this is done. Yeah, everything is done. Yep. All right, let's get these out of the oven. Yeah, so these are how everything is looking so far. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with this cake. I'll probably just leave it and just put it on our cake stand for the week. But I really wanted to make cupcakes and they look good. These are a little bit crushed, but you know, we're gonna make them work. So I'm just gonna put this here. I put a hook up top to hold everything. So I'm just hiding the strings behind the other, what do you call these? Lanterns or whatever. It's now 3.38, so I'm gonna wake up Bailey because she's still sleeping and I don't want to throw off her bedtime 
because when the girls come and I'm setting up and we're having the event, she should be asleep. So, I'm going to wake her up now. Look at sleepy face. Sleepy face, you're awake. I'm going to let her cool off before I give her something to eat. Because she don't like to eat as soon as she gets up. Billy, are you going to say hi? Mm, say hi to the vlog. Hi, are you going to blow kisses? <laughs> nah. All right, mommy's going to finish putting up the decor, right? Mm. It's pretty. Good. Look at my girl. What color is that? Pink. Good girl. You see my girl bright. My girl alert her color set thing. And what color what color is this? Huh? What color is this one? What? Hmm? What color is this one? I know this is pink, but what color is this one? Pink. Bailey. These are pink. What color is this one? You know this right. one? Yay! See my girl alert! Mwah. Guys, I'm about to decorate these cupcakes. And I don't have a clue what I'm doing. And that's very rare for me because I consider myself very resourceful and knowledgeable. But I don't know how to set up the piping bag and the tip thing. I honestly have no clue what I'm doing because I'm pushing it in. I don't know if I should try to push it in and pull it up or what. I kind of <laughs> I'm it. I'm intimidated. I'm going to let me just see if I can watch a YouTube video. A YouTube video. Everything is on YouTube. Right. How to set up pie pin. Type in bag and tip. Okay, found a. Okay, so you put it in a cup. Okay. All right, I found a video. All right, so that YouTube video was not very helpful, but I'm going to just try and wing it a bit. I'm going to put the piping bag like in a cup to fill it. I'm just going to put the tip on it and just hold it and squeeze it. Ah, Jesus Christ, it dropped off. Sorry. Um, Yeah, I'm going to fill. All right, we're just going to test. We're just going to do a test and see how it works out. God help me. This will be funny. I don't even know if this frosting is enough or I don't know, but we're gonna go for it. Should I use a dip? Alright, let's 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 go. I'm not gonna overthink it. We're not overthinking it. We're gonna just, you know. Do a little bit first and see how it works out. If it don't work out, we just do old school style and just, you know, um, use a knife and smooth it out on the cupcake. We're going to do one and if it don't work out, it don't work out. I'm not stress myself, honestly. But I'm not stress myself, but I don't know so make us stress myself. <laughs> Alright, let's bring this down um right, i'm gonna put on the tip the thing is i have nothing to secure the tip so i think i i guess i just have to hold the tip and hold this i don't even know how to hold a piping bag but all right let's try one cupcake and then we'll see how it goes all right this is the first one okay Oh wow, the tip sliding off. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna just try my best to like hold the tip. But it's not giving me much 
because I'm trying to hold the tape I'm not getting much control for the design okay here we are this is not this is not bad be honest this can work this this can work all right so I'm gonna just put the sprinkles on this and put this one in the fridge for it to like set because the frosting is a little bit Oh my gosh, I'm excited! Alright, let me just put this on a plate so I can catch the fallout of the sprinkles. Alright, guys, we're doing this together. It was kind of awkward because I had to hold. Should I just do the sprinkle, throw it on it? Or, no, I'm, you know what? For more control, I'm just gonna put the sprinkles in my hand and do it that way hi bailey mommy's frosting a cupcake you want to see all right so i'm gonna put the sprinkles in my hand and then so i can have more control i am so proud of myself for being public on this i you know i'm gonna know if you use a piping bag but this is so cute guys tell me some of on
Not too sure how I feel about it. But this is what we're working with right now. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let you me in this cloud. It's all in the sky. Ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this often. But since recruiting isn't an option. Do to one you. You have to go through and tell me what everything is. Okay, go on the other side. Huh? Go on the other side and tell me what everything is. It's your potato? You have to go around. Or planting. You have to go around the other side. It is planting. Hmm? It is planting. Oh, this is so cute. Are they some of these? Yeah. Yeah, everybody So, this is rice. I'm just seeing it. Cilantro and lime rice. Cilantro and. Hey, Talitha. Outside? Okay. Alright, I'll open the gate. Cilantro and lime rice. Mm -hmm. Corn. Corn with what? It's Girl. a corn salsa. It's a corn salsa. Yes. Ripe plantains. <laughs> Guacamole. Purple onion. A pico de gallo, um, lettuce. This looks like some jerk shrimp, and this is some boneless chicken thighs, and this is white cheddar cheese and some lemon wedges. And then cupcakes made by yours truly, Doreen. It's Galentine's. Congratulations! Galentine's under the guys. Well, celebrating you under the guys. Oh, for God's sake. Stop doing this. What is wrong with you? I know what you like.